It's time to watch people die. The following is a transcription of an advisory message that was tape recorded by David Ray Parker on July 23rd, 1993. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello there, bitch. Are you comfortable right now? I doubt it. Wrists and ankles chained, gagged, probably blindfolded. You are disoriented and scared too, I would imagine. Perfectly normal under the circumstances. For a little while at least, you need to get your shit together and listen to this tape. It is very relevant to your situation. I'm going to tell you in detail why you have been kidnapped, what's going to happen to you, and how long you'll be here. I don't know the details of your capture because this tape is being created July 23rd, 1993 as a general advisory tape for all future female captives. The information I'm going to give you is based on my experience dealing with captives over a period of several years. If at a future date there are any major changes in our procedures, the tape will be upgraded. Now you are obviously here against your will, totally helpless, you don't know where you're at, don't know what's going to happen to you, you're very scared or very pissed off. I'm sure that you've already tried to get your wrists and ankles loose, and no you can't. Now you're just waiting to see what's going to happen next. You probably think you're going to be raped, and you're fucking sure right about that. Our primary interest is what you've got between your legs. You'll be raped thoroughly, and repeatedly, in every hole you've got, because basically you've been snatched and brought here for us to train and use you as a sex slave. Sound kind of far out? Well, I suppose it is to the uninitiated, but we do it all the time. It's going to take a lot of adjustment on your part, and you're not going to like it one fucking bit, but I don't give a rat's ass about that. It's not like you're going to have any choice in the matter. You've been taken by force, and you're going to be kept and used by force. What all this amounts to is that you're going to be kept naked and chained up like an animal, to be used and abused at any time we want to, in any way that we want to. And you may as well start getting used to it, because you're going to be kept here and used until such time as we get tired of fucking around with you. And we will, eventually, in a month or two, maybe three. It's no big deal. My lady friend and I have been keeping sex slaves for years. We both have kinky hang-ups involving rape, dungeon games, etc. We found that it is extremely convenient to keep one or two female captives available constantly to, uh, <laughs> satisfy our particular needs. We are very selective when we snatch a girl to use for these purposes. It goes without saying that you have a fine body, and you're probably young, maybe very young. Because for our purposes, we prefer to snatch girls in the early to mid-teens. Sexually developed, but still small-bodied, scared shitless, easy to handle, and easy to train. They usually have tight little pussies and assholes. They make perfect slaves. And any time we go on a hunting trip, if we can't find a teenager, we usually start hitting the gay bars, look for a well-built, big-tittied lesbian. I thoroughly enjoy raping and screwing around with lesbians, and there is not much as a danger of them carrying a sexually transmitted disease. I don't like using condoms. Also, even though they're a little older, unless they've been playing with dildos a lot, they still have tight little holes between their legs like the younger girls. If we can't find a lesbian that we want, we snatch anything that's young, clean, and well-built. We very seldom come back empty-handed, because there's plenty of bitches out there to choose from, and with a little practice and deception, most of them are very easy to get, with very little risk. At this point, it makes little difference what category you fall into. You're here, and we're going to make the most of it. You're going to be kept in a hidden slave room. It is relatively soundproof, escape-proof, and is completely stocked with devices and equipment to satisfy our sexual fetishes and deviations. There may or may not be another girl in this room, occasionally for variety. 
we like to keep two slaves at the same time. In either case, as the new girl, you'll definitely be getting the most attention for a while. Now, as I said earlier, you're going to be kept like an animal. I guess I've been doing this for too long. I've been raping bitches ever since I was old enough to jerk off and tie little girls' hands behind their back. As far as I'm concerned, you're a pretty piece of meat to be used and exploited. I don't give a flying fuck about your mind or how you feel about the situation. You may be married, have a kid or two, boyfriend, girlfriend, a job, car payment. Fuck it. I don't give a rat's ass about any of that, and I don't want to hear about it. It's something you're going to have to deal with after you're turned loose. I make it a point to never like a slave, and I fucking sure don't have any respect for you. Here, your status is no more than that of one of the dogs or one of the animals out in the barn. Your only value to us is the fact that you have an attractive, usable body. And like the rest of our animals, you will be fed and watered, kept in good physical condition, kept reasonably clean and allowed to use the toilet when necessary. In return, you're going to be used hard, especially during the first few days when you're new. This has been a brief snippet from the hour-long David Parker Ray audio tape that was used to greet his victims and inform them of what was going on. If you would want to read the full transcript, a link will be in the description below, but be warned, it only gets worse.